So what we were trying to do is see whether or not washers work instead of coins on various types of machines. Uh -huh. Did quite a bit of research, found out, I mean I looked up online, found out all kinds of stuff about these machines, even found schematics of how the coin machines work. Oh really? Yeah, various various things to consider when you're how those coins things work. They're not very expensive to make, but they're surprisingly accurate, as we found out. Um, the different components that they consist of is like the angle of the coin chute, how fast the coin rolls down. So if you were to alter, like a prop up an arcade machine, for example, it might mess it up because it has a built-in timing mechanism that times how fast it rolls. They've got stuff in there that weighs the coins, so it knows what kind of coin it's dealing with. It might be a foreign coin, for example. Right. And they've also got electromagnets, which detect the material properties of the coin. Wow. Um, for example, quarters and other coins aren't magnetic, but these are. Washers are. And we tried with two different types of washers. This one's just a hair larger than a quarter. And we had another one that was just a hair smaller than a quarter. There is such a thing as an authentic slug, which is would be a quarter that was never actually stamped. But calling around different coin shops in the area, those are really rare to find. Probably worth more than a quarter and not worth it. These are only about 12 cents a piece, so you're, you're saving yourself half a quarter. <laughs> so I got these at the local Lowe's hardware store. We tried all kinds of different machines. We tried arcade machines, soda machines, washing machines. No. Washing machines. Newspaper machines. The air machines that you fill up your tires with at the gas stations. We didn't have much success at all until we got the candy machines. Now they have a different type of coin system either the ones that twist clockwise mm -hmm. or the kind that you push in. Right. The smaller washers do not work on the candy machines just because they're, I don't know why, but they're too small. Even as, just that little hair of a difference somehow makes a big difference. These bigger washers, however, they work well in plastic machines, if that makes sense, where the, uh, the coin system's made out of hard plastic rather than metal. There was an interesting thing, I haven't even told Reno about this yet, when I went to uh, a pizza place and I, they had a metal one with the, a metal gumball machine and the walk, neither one of my washers would work on it, but one of their employees pointed out to me that someone had figured out a similar hack to do where they've got these pizza boxes and in all the pizza boxes, they have a little hole that punches out. I'm not sure why. It's for the way the the box folds or something, I'm sure. But they punch out a little hole. And that little cardboard circular disc shape that's left over after you punch it out, they were using that in their own machine. And it, it worked fine. And it was giving them candy, free candy. The only machine that the smaller washers worked in was the, the push coin systems. I'm like sticker machines pool tables. It only worked once and we tried it multiple times after that and it stopped working. I don't know why. Maybe it was a difference in the thickness of the washers or maybe something else but this is the one sticker that we got. This is my price. All in all, um, I got I, don't know, I got about 10 bucks worth of washers and a very small handful of machines that they'll work on and I don't even eat candy so it doesn't do much, me much good. So yeah, coin slugs do work but not on modern day coin systems and those modern day coin systems are found in just about every coin machine that's out there.